Okay. Uh, here today, I uh, just want to check on that earlier classes we have seen the individuals, individuals of the type uh, where you have given this kind of form. Then the, these are the formulas that we have seen where you don't need to make any substitu substitution but directly can uh, apply these formulas. So today I want to show uh, another integrals of the size where you have sometimes you have questions you have integral of exponential and trig so e raised to ax times sine of bx or so here are the formulas so let's check one of the why the formula integral of e raised to ax sine bx is uh, e, uh, this whole thing so it helps us easily to solve any given uh, problem so let me first prove one of these formulas and you can try this yourself and give one or two examples on how to apply this. Okay, let's see. Uh, before that, let's check the formula that we are going to use to, to prove this. We are going to use integration by parts, that is integral u times the derivative of b is uv minus uh, integral of take the derivative of u and then v, which is the equivalent form uh, where I keep the first integral second minus integral or differentiate first integrate second. This formula helps to avoid substitution. So it makes it very easy to use the integration by parts formula. Okay, let's see how do we do this. Okay, let me start with the uh, start with uh, first one that is and call it as i which is integral of e raised to ax sine of bx okay so this is given to you now the order is very important earlier so the, yesterday i showed you that best is to use this orderly uh, so that means this is your trig and this is your exponential uh, it helps to get the answer very quickly if you use the trig first and the exponential even the textbook is exponential first and the trig later so what I would do is I'll write the trig first so I equals sorry so sine of bx b raised to ax and dx so I'm going to use this form uh, where you have u is sine bx and your v prime whose derivative so what is v prime is e raised to ax so we have to write the integral of that over here so this v is the integral of the second part so this v again is the integral of this derivative okay so let's see and I call this as first and this let us call second so that way we can apply directly that formula okay so let's do i equals keep the first integrate the second integral of e raised to ax is then the a because the, this is the linear form so that a goes down minus integral of when we take the derivative of sine bx, so derivative of sine is cos bx times b and again integral of e raised to x which is e raised to ax over a. So that's the first step. Let's do some shortcuts. You see the constant here is b and this is your a. So the next step what I'm going to do is I cross out this. So this will be multiplied outside b over so I don't need this here. So again you have a product of two functions trig and exponential and apply the same formula one more time. So let's do that i equals sine of bx e raised to ax then I'll write directly away minus b over a now because this will have two terms let me put a box like this and 
this is your first this is your second so let's do that so keep the first integrate like this e raised to x over a minus minus uh, integral of differentiated cos so the derivative of cos is minus sine bx times the derivative of this parenthesis which is b and then the integral of this second one which is e raised to x divided by a dx let's close that let's work out inside first there are two minus sign here this minus and this minus will become plus here straight away and then you also see there is a b a here so this plus i'll write here so this b a can be written again outside the integral sign because it's a constant so i'll take this Okay, so you have a b by a. Now I want you to watch be carefully that this integral which is this one, the whole thing, this whole thing, if you look at the in the beginning we call it as it's the same thing here. So i. So instead of this expression so let's say i equals this stays the same and then at the same time I'm going to use the distributive property here say multiply minus b over a to cos vx to cos vx and when you multiply you see there's a two a's so when you multiply this a to here it will become a square here and e raised to ax then, then minus and plus will give, give you minus then you multiply b times b which is b square a times a is a square and this whole part is i so we'll try to solve this for i because we are we want to know what is the integral of the whole thing which we call i so add the same this b square minus so add on right side and also on the left side that base we can cross out this this goes away and uh, so little scratch work we should do what is this i plus b square of okay uh, let's, let's let me show it right here so what is i plus b square over a square times i uh, and you can see there's a i i common or you can multiply a square a square up down and so the denominator is the same a square i is uh, use the undo the distributive property which is a square plus b square over a square times i okay you can check that out so this whole thing this part I can write it as a square plus b square over a square times i and this goes away right so this is the one now since we are solving for uh, i so we don't want this so multiply throughout by a square over a square by b square so we are going to multiply a square over b square plus b square to both this term so when you multiply this so i get so this goes away when i multiply a square a square crosses out a square plus b square that also will cross out, cross out. so you get i equals this a square is multiply up so the a square the same thing over a and minus
minus now the same in a square b square of reciprocal we need to multiply here also times this part b over a square into cos of bx times okay and then you see you can cross out this one the a square and a one of the a will cross out this entire a square goes away so what i will left with is is let me clean this off so you get uh, i equals so this multiplies here there's a one here this stays up sine of bx e raised to ax over this one a still stays right so this a will stay here and then a square over b square b. and then what is the next one is minus b over a square plus b square cos bx e raised to ax and you can see there are terms which are common look out for this it's the same and also so this we can pull it out you know, under the distributive property so you get r equals e raised to ax divided by a square plus b square let me show you the purple color because I use this purple so it is e raised to ax upon and then this is a sine bx minus b cos bx that's it so what if this is i is nothing but integral of e raised to ax sine bx then the question is uh, this ha is helpful to us and if you are answering a ap testing questions uh, they ask question how to find integral of such example I think we should be able to do it within like within a few seconds so let's see how how we can use these formulas you can also try the second formula but let's see how can we use this in getting quick answer so just two examples to understand this so here let me pull this back here so we are going to use one of this first one and then second one let's see how to remember this so this stays the same thing and this constants which are coefficients of x here the power and the angle the a b becomes square at them the second part is the angle bx stays bx is bx bx so what changes is if in the beginning you use this a a times this and then minus and we know integral of sine is negative so that's why you can think of minus so a times sine bx and then put minus and then use the second uh, coefficient of x as here b times cos bx so that's just changing from sine to cos this goes from cos to sine how do you remember this positive is you know integral of cos is positive so that way you can think that the pattern stays the same okay let's take few examples first so integral of suppose i have integral of 3x sine 4x. Now you see, you see the textbook makes it uh, you know use substitution take a u, uh, u as sine of this and then uh, then this and this with v 
DV and then find V. There's a lot of things you can avoid and you can just remember the shortcut is this is your A, that's A, and this is the B. So this is your A, and that's B. So once you have that, you go. So the trick is write this exactly the same, E raised to 3x. Then you square both and add them up in the bracket. Then use this three times, the whole thing stays the same. And you know integral of sine is minus, so I put minus. And already sine 4x is used, so I'll change the cos. Uh, before that, be, be careful. This 4 is, yeah, there's a b. So your b is 4, so 4 times cos bx. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. If you add, you get 25. And you're done. So, so easy to do this. I will take one more example, integral of e raised to, uh, let's say minus 4x and sine of 5x. So how can we do this quickly? So here it is again, a and b, so the answer is this exponent stays the same, divide by square this, which is 16, square this, which is 25, and then times, a times sine of this, so negative 4 times sine of 5x, and minus this 5 times and 16 plus 25 is 41, depending on situation. Okay, if we have applied this formula to the sign, can we do it for the cos? Okay, let's see cos, third one. How do we do integral of 6x cos of 4x? I can write any numbers here. So if this is the case, again this is your a and this one is your b. So the second formula is with plus sign here. Okay. So this will be same uh, same steps kind of thing where you keep this <coughs> first and then 6 square plus 4 square then multiply this a times the whatever whatever trick ratio here. So, so I can write 6 times this cos 4x but now it is plus because the formula but you can remember integral of cos is positive so I think that way and then this b this b goes here and this so 4 times